Hello everybody, my name is Sniping Spun. Welcome me back to my channel to watch my next video here. And this will be technically the final part of this whole Nintendo series of videos I want to talk about, starting with the whole my thoughts on the E3 Direct and then, you know, them saying out franchises, what the NX is, my whole thoughts on people saying that this thing's coming out next year in 2016. I'm ending it here now with this video. You can watch, like I said, you should watch it. Like I said, the last like two videos, you should watch them kind of in order, but you can technically watch them out of order because they really don't follow exactly, but they do kind of take stuff from former videos. So I'm basically kind of referring to stuff that I talked about in former videos. So it might make more sense if you watch it in order, but you really don't have to. Well, my next video is, is this. Nintendo needs to play the waiting game. Seriously. Nintendo needs to wait till they know that they can do this next system right. Like I mentioned in the whole 2016 video, Nintendo jumping on the next system next year, if that's what the NX is, the next system, is, is going to burn bridges and build distrust in their fan base, which... It's not very all that much different because they're kind of already building distrust lately anyways. And they've been building distrust since like the mid-2000s. Actually, building really mistrust since the late 90s, but uh, early 2000s and whatnot. But it's really getting, it's gotten big really since the Wii and Wii U. Now, I really, no, please don't take this as the fact that I don't like the Wii and Wii U. I really like them. But there are people out there that do not. So we have to consider their opinions too. If we're going to consider opinions that like it, we have to consider opinions that don't. It's only fair. And Nintendo has been building distrust in their fans, a lot of which are not their fans anymore, for years. And Nintendo has a lot of problems now. They don't get third parties. They hardly release their own franchises. They don't market worth the darn, which is really fascinating. They can't do like features on their systems, on pushing online, or any of that other stuff. They have a lot of problems, but people think that maybe changing to this next generation hardware, the ninth generation, which the eighth generation just kind of started like two years ago, people. I don't think we're ready for ninth generation. Um, it's going to solve everything. Nintendo's going to get all the third parties. They're going to have the power. They're going to have this and that and be all safe. And Nintendo's all jumping the gun and blah, 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 and doing, doing what's right, and they're going to solve their problems. It's not what's going to happen. If they don't sit, think this thing through, they're going to pull another Wii U. What does pulling our Wii U do? Not thinking things through. Because remember, when the Wii U first was starting to come out, Nintendo had that third-party support. And then they squandered it. And is that entirely Nintendo's fault? No! It's a lot of third parties. A lot of third parties like EA and, and stuff like EA and Ubisoft to some extent bullcrapped a lot of their stuff. Hold a lot of stupid decisions, but you cannot say Nintendo is free from stupidity in this decision. They didn't market the Wii U hardly worth a darn. A lot of people thought the Wii U was an add-on to the Wii and a lot of other stuff. And where are we now? In 2015 with the Wii U? About 10 million people. In three years. That's not good. Now, does that mean they need to immediately jump the gun, cancel this thing, and go on to the next system? No. The best thing for Nintendo to do now is ride this thing out to about 2017, 2018, and make sure darn well that behind the scenes they're working their hardest, their best, to making sure this next system solves any and all problems the Wii U has. Any problems that the Wii U is getting right now, they need to prevent on their next system. And if they jump the gun and try to push this thing out so they can get this next system on the market and try to save money and whatnot, they're not going to think things through. They're going to be shotgunning this thing. And the, you know what that does? That does allows them not to think. And it causes more problems. Nintendo needs to take their time with this next system. They need to solve problems. If they, if they come out, and you guys are pushing for this too. It's really kind of sad. I'm sorry. You're pushing for this. And if they're not ready for this next generation system, they're going to only hurt themselves more than they're hurting themselves now. And I say this, Nintendo, play the waiting game. Take your time. Ride the Wii U out. We still have another two, three years for this thing. Put as many games on as possible. Try to reach more of an installer base, install base as much as you can. 
don't cut this thing short because that will only hurt you more than if you ride it out. If they cut this thing short, it's going to hurt them more, not technically financially because they are kind of making some money now on Wii U starting like last year. They're actually making a profit. But it's going to hurt them in the fan base. A lot of people will not like it if this system cuts short because all it's going to do is, like I said in the Wait, the 2016 video is going to build distress, burn bridges, and people are going to be worried that their 9th generation system, 10th, 11th, 12th generation systems are only going to last 2, 3 years, 4 years. Like, should I buy the system now or should I wait for the next one? Because obviously they're not going to last long because Nintendo seems to have an issue really keeping these systems out for long. Like, it, it's, it's going to build distrust because right now their best bet is to ride the Wii U out and give it the necessary franchises, game support that, as much as they can to make sure it ends right. If they cut this in 2016, they're just yanking the rug under underneath it. And it's going to be cut short and people are just going to remember the Wii U for a crappy ending and average beginnings. Because really, remember, 2013 wasn't all that good. 2014 was when it started getting good and then 2015. And at the end of 2016, was that? Two good years? Whoopee, that's really going to be a remembering system to remember. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Because it's going to make people look at this and be like building distrust. Like I mentioned before, because they aren't, they're they going to be worried that if these systems are going to receive support or going to be supported for how long they're going to be supported. Or, or, do, or should I just wait till I have to buy the next system because if I keep buying games now, I won't have money for the next $400 or so on system. You know, type of thing. Like, do I, I have to spend money now? I just bought this thing, like, a couple months ago. A year ago, two years ago, and I have to upgrade now? Screw you, Nintendo. I'm not doing that. That's what they're going to think. A lot of people have probably just recently started buying Wii U's. Like, within the last year or two. If they have to upgrade already, that's not going to make them happy. They want at least another one, two, three more years out of this thing. You know? You know, that's what it is, like I said, and that, that's a totally different topic. You can watch that for this. This video is about Nintendo playing the waiting game. And why should Nintendo play the waiting game? Simple. To see what Sony and Microsoft are doing for the ninth generation consoles. Why should they stay attention? So they can be on equal terms with it as best as possible. If they jump the gun right now, what they're going to do is create another NX, another another Wii U situation where they announce it first, and then PlayStation 4 and Xbox One were announced later, and then basically the PS4 and Xbox One were made to be super strong, and Nintendo wasn't ready to compete with them on power levels. If they wait now, will they be able to say, okay, what the PlayStation 5 and Xbox 4, I don't know what the crap Microsoft's name in their next system. I'm going to say 4 because it's the 4 FX box. Depending on what their powers are, I think Nintendo needs to be as close as they possibly can so they can get as much support as they possibly can, which draws in as much fans as they possibly can, install base as they possibly can. Nintendo needs to play the waiting game. They can't jump on the next system. I'm sorry. People that want them to jump right to the ninth generation, you want them to jump before, like, about two or three years before Sony and Microsoft does? That's really early, people. And then they're going to be done with their ninth generation systems about two or three years before Microsoft and Sony end it. Like, I would like them to kind of be in the same ballpark. Do I want Nintendo to be exactly like Sony and Microsoft? No, but I want them to have the power of it. And I think if they play the waiting game, think things through, learn, work on their problems they have now, and try to prevent as many future problems as they possibly could have, or possibly could receive, while trying to make, make their, sure their system is in, the, is in the realm of the next Sony and Microsoft systems, I think Nintendo has it made. But they have to wait and practice that. They have to work towards that. They can't shotgun their way to fixing that because that's not going to fix a darn thing. I'm just thinking, like I said, Nintendo needs to play the waiting game. They need to wait, watch, learn, and right now I'm kind of sounding like Nintendo. Wow. That's an old reference because I doubt he's on YouTube anymore. I certainly haven't seen him recently. Um... But yes, they need to wait, they need to watch, they need to pay attention to the competition, they need to work on communicating with companies, work on their advertising, work on solving their problems now, and finding out what problems we have now, and what can we do to stop them? 
What can we do to prevent them? Because we are Nintendo, and we don't want this to happen a second generation in a row. Well, technically a third if you count the Wii, but I'm going to kind of just base off the, the Wii U. Um, Nintendo just needs to play the waiting game. They need to make sure they're ready for the next generation system, and right now, I don't think they are in, in the next year. So 2017 is the earliest I can see this next system coming out because that's like the five-year span, but then there's also possibly a six-year span in 2018. Nintendo needs to play the waiting game for the next generation system, or else it's going to kill them. It's going to hurt them. It's going to mess them up. And I know all of you, myself included, all Nintendo fans, do not want that. Put in the comment section what you guys think. We can discuss it there. My name is Snackers Fun. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to, and have a lovely day. See you all later.